Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about personal projects. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Hi Frederick, I have a few personal projects and when I finish work and go home I find it hard to work on them because of family or that I just want to rest after a days of work. Do you have any tips on how to manage this better? Yes. Um, so I would start by asking myself what level of commitment do I want to put into my project because that's a very important thing uh, see in my world going on and having like a personal project or something like that uh, I look at that as literally the same thing as having a gym membership or something like that trying to build stem and you know working on your cardio or your strength or maybe stretching or whatever you're you, you want to get into a better better shape right and so there is no difference here in my world but anybody who's ever started working out needs to figure out for themselves what level of fitness am i looking for like well, what are my goals what would what level of commitment can i can i do here so if say that you want to be really really committed you're going to have to think about this in one way if you kind of just casually want to do some stretching quote unquote you don't have to go as hard so start by figuring that out and once you know what level of commitment you want create a schedule and then stick to it it's literally that simple uh, for everything I have a my own principle like uh, or it's a saying that I have. Uh, it's actually on my LinkedIn page, if I remember correctly. I say I think it's uh, master the skills you use every day and practice the skills that you will need for tomorrow. And so the way that, like the the essence and essence of that is basically that you should go really deep and get really good at the things that you depend on every single day. The eighty percent. 20% rule, that's exactly that. You just put 80% of your energy on the thing that really matters and then 20% on the stuff that you're going to need in the future. And so, as you can imagine, anybody who is a structured worker will tell you that uh, when there's a priority problem, uh, and you will probably see this red thread in your own work, like at, at even at your job, uh, there are these, uh, if you do retros, do you know what I say when I say actions? There are these optional tasks that you come out with from the retros and we're going to do this and we're going to do that. And they almost, eh, I'm going to just assume that everybody's the same, they almost never happen. And the reason why they never happen is because there's always something that is higher priority. And that's what we humans are extremely good at. We're extremely good at just responding to whatever is highest priority. The prob th th that's really great for survival and always keeping your, you know, your focus on the ball. It's not so good for stuff that you want to get done long term, but is not as important short term because humans are all about the short term always. And when you realize that you are always about the short term, you just have to figure out, okay, so how can I make sure that the long term goal is being progressed? And it's as I said. It's as simple as creating a schedule, and in war in the workplace, it's as simple as having a time budget. It's the whole the strategy how to, that's how you make sure that you don't have as much bugs as like the worst situ situations, and you make sure that people are learning on the job, and there's all these sorts of nice to have. You just create a budget, and then you stick to it. And for you. That's all you have to do. Create a schedule, just as uh, you would go to the gym three times a week. Then sit down and say, "All right, I can get my well. If you have a family, I can get my wife or my husband or whatever uh, to take care of the kids, so I can offload them. If you have kids, or maybe you don't, uh, and then take an hour for yourself or something like that, or two hours or whatever. How much time you want to invest in this thing, and that you can invest." And when you have that schedule, just practice it. If you're a regular gym uh, rat, uh, this should be no problem whatsoever. Uh, I mean, I can speak for myself. I have personal projects uh, that I work on. Uh, some of them I just dabble with for a weekend because, my, as I said, my commitment isn't, it's not, I don't even care if it gets done or not. I just want to fiddle around with it. But then I also have uh, like long running projects that I've been working on for a long time and these are always scheduled for say the weekends now I know that this project I'm not 
trying to make this into something really big and commercial. It's not at the point. It's so not. It's a product that I'm doing because I love it and I want to make it into something someday, hopefully. But it's not something that I am in, in a rush to finish. So I treat it as relaxation. So what I like to do is that I like to you know get some blankets or go to my bed and then like lie lie in bed with my laptop and get maybe some whiskey or some snacks or something like that put on the television in the background and then do what i call cozy coding i'll just it's basically a relaxation thing where you know i have i mean i and i run it just as seriously as i would any product i have a backlog with stories and future stuff and like bugs and issue tracking and all that stuff. It's just me working on it, but I run it just as I would at work. And then I just code on it. And to me, that's not even work. It's basically relaxation. It's no diff almost the same thing as watching television or, you know, just taking a bath or something. So, what I want you to take away from this is that if you find it hard to uh, find time for your own personal projects, realize that it's the same problem as if you wanted to do anything. And this is unfortunate, it's unfortunate, but for most people it is actually beyond the average person uh, with average willpower to stick to anything. That's why I know, if, that's practically why everybody's fat. Or well, half the world is overweight, if I, I'm not mistaken. Or maybe that's just America. Well, it's probably more places than that. But most people are overweight for the, this exact reason. Because short-term um, gratification is the human default. And when you realize that, the only way to fix it is usually, as I said, to create a schedule or a budget or something like that. And that is the one the golden trick that everybody who's ever been in, been to the Olympics or like gotten into shape or educated themselves or anything like that, they can all vouch for this thing because it's basically the only way we know that this works. It's the only system we have that works. So just do that. Create a schedule for yourself. Say that every Tuesday, Thursday, well, I can just pick a few days a week and say that, yeah, during these time, this time here, that's me reserved time just as if you were to go to the gym. And then ask yourself how much of a commitment do you want to make with uh, into this thing? If you want to build your future on this and create a company out of it, you're probably going to have to go about it a little bit more seriously at some point at the very least than, you know, like me having some whiskey and some <laughs> some snacks in my bed and just kind of playing with it. Uh, but you can also start very in a very relaxed manner. It's, uh, it's like going to the gym. Are you going to go in and do hit like high intensity stuff or are you just there to stretch a little bit? Figure that out for yourself and create a schedule. Have a great day.